Hello, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in. We're going to stamp and create tonight. Oh, wait, I can show you my shirt. <laughs> See if I can get the game. There. Mary, <laughs> it's almost time. It's almost time. So tonight we're going to make a cute project that is perfect for um, those last minute gifts. Um, I am actually going to give this to my uh, fellow Sunday school teacher tomorrow when we have our Christmas party with the kids. I teach kindergarten through second uh, second grade Sunday school and I have a wonderful uh, partner teacher, Kathy, who I have some other guests for. And this will just be the perfect little extra thing to put in her bag. So I'm hoping that this will uh, maybe inspire some of you. I'm also hoping you'll help me design this and we're gonna make it together. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to remind you that I do send out um, project sheet emails um, if you need, um, if you like printed out PDFs, um, I just sent out last, what day was it? Wednesday, I sent out the last project sheet email with some of our, um, our uh, Dutch door. <laughs> That's it. Wow. A brain blanked out the Dutch door and then the barn door fun fold cards. So I hope you got those. I hope those were helpful. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can go ahead and do that right there. SueStampfield.com. Click on subscribe. Shout out to my wonderful moderator, Jennifer Walsh. She was hanging out in the comments here on YouTube. And hello to all my crafty friends who are hanging out with me on YouTube. Some of you are over in Facebook on my Sue Stampfield Facebook group or on my Sue, uh, Sue Stampfield page, wherever you are. Welcome. I hope you're having a great weekend. We're going to just relax and craft together. We're gonna lose stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't have water. Oh, I do. Ah, ha, ha. It's just across the room. Let me grab that. Mm. So I'm a messy stamper and I lose things a lot while I'm crafting. And so when I lose it and they find it again, we also found it, we take a sip of our beverage. So this is close to the holidays. If you don't have a beverage at hand, but you have some, a plate of Christmas cookies, that works too. We find it, take a bite of, <laughs> take a bite of a Christmas cookie because, Oh my goodness, the eating, it's like crazy. You know what? I don't think I printed out, did I print out the directions? I probably didn't. Let me print out my measurements here because, you know, all the things. I typed them up, but, you know, it would be helpful if I actually printed them. I hope that's going to the right printer. Yes, it is. Okay, yay. All right, so we are going to, um... oh gosh, where is it? <laughs> I'm already losing things. Okay, Paula's got water in her cup. Let me know. Oh, hot drink is what, hot tea is what Lisa has in her uh, cup. It is warm and balmy here in Minnesota. It's 38 degrees right now. So uh, um, unseasonably warm here. Uh, it's going to get cold again on Monday and then warm up again. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to switch cameras. <laughs> All right, let's just move that out of the way. Okay, there we go. There is our desktop. Let me grab our directions here. And Jennifer, I did just email these to you. So yes, they were late. And yes, I was a little late. So sorry. Thanks for being so patient. It's been kind of a crazy day. Um, so we're going to make, I just, I'm losing everything. Everything is gone haywire here. So, you know, in other words, just completely normal. <laughs> That's just a regular thing. So I picked up this cute little chapstick. Um, I got this at a Walgreens. Um, I've seen them at Target as well. Um, and I thought this would be really fun to make a cardstock holder for this um, chapstick. So that's what we are going to, ooh, eggnog Dolores. Oh man, that sounds really, really good. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna make tonight. So we're just gonna, we'll just start from scratch. I've got some pieces over here, but let's just start from the beginning. I am using a ring like, so I apologize for the little halo that is appearing in my uh, trimmer there. It's kind of a Christmas thing. We'll go with that. All right, let me grab some cardstock. We are going to use real red cardstock tonight, okay? And so I am going to cut this at um, three and a half inches. Wait, no, I'm not. I lied. I'm going to cut this. <laughs> I'm going to cut the five and three quarter inch cut first. Okay. I need two pieces that are three and a half. So I cut the five and a five and three quarters first. And now I'm going to go in and cut a three and a half. Double checking my measurements. What did they say? Um, 
Measure twice, cut once, right? And then we're going to do again at three and a half. Joan thought she had all her cards done and then she got a surprise one in the mail. It does happen, doesn't it? That's where those New Year's cards come in super handy because, you know, um, you can just send New, New Year's cards to those ones that come at the very last minute. All right. So we've got our two pieces that, again, are five and three quarters by three and a half. One of them, uh, we're going to actually score both of them. And then one of them, we're going to do some extra cuts. So I'm going to start by scoring this. Oh, why am I scoring this? Oh, hang on. Hold on. Oh, did anyone see my ruler? Oh, found it. <laughs> Let me just, uh, I don't think I, did I put that down, Jennifer? I didn't. Oh, good golly. All right, Jennifer, that should have been scored. This piece should be scored at two and a half and three and a quarter. Two and a half. Two and a half and three and a quarter. So you can see I've got the long side at the top, the five and three quarter inch side is at the top. And I've scored it at two places. We're kind of making a little book, okay? So I'm gonna put my other piece in here and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I could add these to our, to our cheat sheet that I'm gonna be showing at the end. There's a good, there's a good pen, found it. Does it work? Oh yeah, we're good. All right, so let's let's write that down. Mm. Score at what did I say? Two and a half inches and three and a quarter, I believe it was. Yep, three and a quarter. Why did I put an extra n in end? <laughs> oh goodness gracious! All right, there we go. And now we're going to do that same thing on this one. Okay. So we're going to score it at two and a half, and three and a quarter. All right. So we've got our two pieces. Now I am hoping that you'll help me design this. So we're going to start with doing, I'm going to show you all the scores and cuts, and then I'm going to have you help me figure out what we're putting on our, our holder. So you can see it kind of makes a little book. Do any of you remember when I was a kid? This is going to date myself. I don't know if they still have these or not. We sometimes from Santa would get a Lifesaver book. So it was a book, and you opened it up, and it was all these rolls of Lifesavers. Oh, my gosh. It was like absolute heaven to a candy-crazed child like me. <laughs> so this is going to be the outer cover of our um, our chapstick holder and this one is going to be the internal part that has to hold our chapstick so we're going to do some additional cuts on this one and I'm going to just show you what this um hang on hold the phone here all right so let me show you what it looks like this is my cheat, my, my practice one. So ignore all of my scratch, my dimensions that are written on there. So we're going to cut this so that our chapstick slides in this main part. And then these other two pieces pop out to keep it from falling out. Okay. But it's kind of ugly after you cut it. So that's why you want to put a cover on it to cover up all the inside mechanisms. Okay, so that is what we are making. Your grandparents always got you a book of lifesavers. So good, right? Santa's picture was on it. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh my gosh. And you know what? I might be changing this from, this is actually not how I made mine. So <laughs> um, let's, let's, let's just change it up. I did it a little bit easier way. So I'm going to fold on this score line right here, okay? Eventually, I'll be folding on that other one. But right now, I'm just going to fold on that one. And I'm going to make, um, all right, so let me I'll do it like this. So I've got on the top, I've got um, a short piece, and this kind of hangs over, okay? Oh, it's late there, Carolyn. Yeah, you must be in Europe if it's one, one uh 1 44 a.m um all right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make some little notches here and then we're gonna do some cutting all right so i'm gonna score here 
not totally changing the directions. <laughs> so I'm going to put my fold into the 3 8 mark. Okay, so I got 1 8, 2 8, and 3 8 right here. And I'm going to make a, a little crease. And I'm going to crease down about 3 8 of an inch. Okay, so and then I'm going to cut. I'm going to go ahead and do the other the same on the other end. And it's hard to only do uh, with the trimmer. It's hard to only do three eighths of an inch. So mine's a little bit more than that. That's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I do have a, a, a ruler over here. So um, if I stop at the three eighths line, see if you can see that probably can't, but it's, trust me, it's there. <laughs> so that's three eighths. This one I got a little carried away, but that's all right. Um, so I've got those those two crease marks right there. And I'm actually just going to take my scissors and I've got it folded here. So I'm going to be cutting on both thicknesses and I'm going to cut from my folded edge to that, to that score line. Okay. So now I have this little tabby piece here. Um, I want it creased on the side too. It kind of went through, but not super great. So I'm just going to, um, Give it another little crease. All right, so now that's going to, um, and you can just fold on those creases. That's going to be the top part. Um, and then I've got the same on the bottom. Now the bottom's where I got a little carried away. Um, this doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be exact. Does that drive you nuts, um, Jennifer? <laughs> I'm just going to eyeball it to about three eighths of an inch and I'm going to cut. And this one looks, the score line actually looks pretty good on both sides. I've just pushed harder. So I'm going to wiggle that a little bit. All right. So I've got these two little bits. You know what? You don't even have to, to measure. <laughs> Honestly, you could just cut a little bit, right? It's not an exact science. And now I'm going to do the, the center uh, channel. And that needs to be out about, let's see, where is this at? Okay, so I'm going to lay it at the three quarter inch line, three quarters of an inch, and I'm going to bring my trimmer down to, I believe it's the one and a half inch mark. I'm going to double check here. Got my ruler out, didn't put it away, but I remembered it was laying there. Yep. So I'm going to score this. Um, I'm going to do some cutting at the one and a half inch mark. So I want to go from one and a half inches down to, I think it's two and a quarter. Let me double check. Uh, two. Okay. I was wrong. So we're going to go from one and a half inches to two. All right. Right there. Okay. And I'm going to take my scissors again. Can you see that score line? It's pretty faint. Not showing up super great on my camera there. That's a little bit better. So I want to cut from the, the folded edge and stop at that score line with my scissors. And the other end of that score line, I'm going to cut up and stop. Okay. Then I'm just going to fold back and forth with that. All right. So let's open it up and see what we have. This part pops out. And I'm going to reinforce that crease. That's going to hold our lip balm. This top one pops out and the bottom one pop out. And I'm going to reinforce those creases. And that's what holds the lip balm. Okay. Now I want to fold on the second score line right here. And that forms our little book shape. Okay. I feel like I confused you guys. Let me know in the comments if that made any sense at all. <laughs> Or if you want me to do it again, because we can do it again, right? So those little pieces hold in the lip balm so that it doesn't pop out, right? Um, and this one is a, a chapstick. So um, you could also do, um, you know, a different brand of um, lip balm anything skinny like this. Okay. Makes sense. It's easy. Okay. Yay. All right. Now the fun part, we're going to decorate it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to set our, well, no, I'm going to need this. So don't go too far away. Let's see how long it takes me to lose it. <laughs> All 
All right, so now we're gonna decorate our cover piece and that's going to go over this and kind of cover up that, um, the, the part that holds it all together. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out how we wanna decorate this. So I was thinking, um, you know, you've got a couple, you always have options, right? So let's look at our options here. One way is if you were short on time and wanted to be fast, you could decorate it with a cute paper, like, and speaking of cute papers, we have the Very Christmas Designer Series paper, and this has some just adorable bears on it. And this is the one I was thinking of right here. Come on out. So you could just cut the designer paper just like that and decorate the front, right? So I would pick a scene. This one's cute with the two bears, this one with the presents and the mama and the baby. So we could just cut that piece and pop it on here and decorate it that way, okay? Just say cut at ends and in center. <laughs> uh, what did you say, Jennifer? I miss Jennifer. Do it again. Okay, I will. I will do it again. All right, um, we'll go, we'll, we'll circle back to that. While I do that, I'm gonna have you vote, okay? So that's one option, we could do the bear. All right, super easy, right? Or we could do the adorable truck, trucking along. Um, we could stamp the truck and, and do the truck. So let me know in the comments if we're gonna do uh, the bears or the truck. <laughs> so I love the polars too and this page is super cute. All right, we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna we're gonna do a do-over. Right. So I had two pieces right here. And in case you're wondering what the bears look like, here's a gift card holder that we made with the bears. Again, we just punched out a piece of that paper and just made it super easy. So this, you can find this video on my channel, just super easy gift card holder. Only stamping I did was on the inside. I did stamp a little bear on there, but really, really fun. And then here's the same thing with the truck. Truck is pretty dang cute as well. This one I did actually punched a hole, so it was a little easier to get the gift card holder out. So. I am seeing a lot of bears for your choice. So, all right, excellent. All right, so I'm just gonna do just the inside mechanism again. So we'll save this to decorate here. And we're gonna go back in and we're gonna take our, uh, you need two pieces that are five and, a half, five and three quarters by three and a half. Say the measurements right, Susan, five and three quarters by three and a half. And then we're, we scored it at two and a half. and three and a quarter, and you actually score both of them that way. Okay. And then we folded on one of the score lines, just one for starts. Okay, so that one end is shorter than the other. And then we made a score line at the three eighths inch mark. So one, two, three eighths, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, <laughs> to count it out. I know it's so lame, hang on. I double check that. I want to make sure that uh, that is right. That is correct. Woohoo! All right. One, two, and three. And then I'm going to use my score blade and I'm going to score down to one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, which is right before half inch. There it is. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you kind of can. All right, so I scored that at the top and then I'm gonna take my paper snips and I'm gonna cut just from that folded edge to the end of that score line. You can also do this with a pencil. You don't have to do it with a score line. I don't like using pencils, so I don't know why, all right? And so we've got that one, that notch done. We're gonna repeat it on the other end. One eighths, two eighths, three eighths. And I'm gonna score down to the three eighths mark. And then I'm gonna cut on that score line with my scissors because I'm cutting through both layers. Okay. 
so that those are the two um, the top and bottom pieces we do need to crease from the edge of our cardstock to where the cut starts so I'm going to put this in at the 3 8 inch mark and score okay and I'm going to do the same over here, 3 8 inch mark, and score to that 3 8 inch mark. If you don't do this, your cardstock tends to buckle and fold kind of weird because it's going against the grain. So I'm going to just bend back and forth on those two little notches. These are the pieces that keep the lip balm from falling out. Okay, and now we're going to do that center channel. And I can't remember what we cut, so let's just remind myself. <laughs> so it was one and a half to two, um, is, and we scored it. Let's see, let's put this at the. Did I, how did I do that, Jennifer? I did it different than I put in your instructions. I apologize for that. I remembered I did it a different way. So I'm going to make a, a crease line right here. And then I'm just going to cut till I get to that crease line, okay? And so that crease line is going to be at three quarter inch. So three quarters of an inch, but I don't want it the whole length. I want to go down to the one and a half inch mark and go to the two inch mark and stop. So those measurements are over on the side here. Another way to do this is you can actually um, cut a template and just trace the lines in. Um, some people will cut this out with an X-Acto knife, a hobby blade. That's too much work for me. So I like to use my trimmer and my scissors. So here's the score line. So my goal is to cut from the, the folded edge here to the score line and stop, okay? And then here's the end of the score line. So I'm gonna do the same thing cut and stop all right now I yeah it looks like that oh yeah that's right <laughs> um is that right did I just do it wrong hang on this looks weird I did it wrong what did I do wrong I think I did too far oh dang all right that's okay is that okay let's find out <laughs> I cut it I cut it too far all right, you wanted to stop at the score line. All right, <laughs> let's fold that. Let's see what happens when we pop it out. This side's going to be a little long, so let me fix that. I can fix anything, right? Just need a paper trimmer. So it should have gone to the three quarter inch line. So let's go out three quarters inch. I'm going to crease it right there. Another advantage to, yeah, it should have been right there. I went a little long. And then fold that close. <laughs> All right, pop this guy out. Pop this guy out and squish it. So can you see I went, I got a little carried away with my cutting and I went over a quarter of an inch. But that's okay, right? Nobody's going to notice that, right? Because we're going to put a cover on it, so and then you just slide in your lip balm. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll decorate the one I didn't mess up. <laughs> this is like, it looks like engineering right here. Paper engineering. All right, you see that? All right, so that's where our piece is gonna go. We're gonna decorate this. So most people picked bears, so we're gonna make this super easy. And um, as I said, this is a gift for uh, my fellow Sunday school teacher, and she loves snowmen. So to me, polar bears are kind of like snowmen, right? <laughs> I got her a lot of snowman related things in her other gifts. So this will go right along with that. So I want my designer paper to be two and a quarter by three and a quarter. But because I'm cutting a specific pattern, um, I might have to do a little extra trimming, but this actually looks pretty good right here. So you get it, Cindy? Oh, good. Let me see. Both, please. Truck, truck, truck. <laughs> Both are cute. Can't go wrong. Hmm, okay. We're, we're supposed to make two. Is that what we're thinking? 
All right, so I'm gonna just cut this down to, what did I say? Um, three and a quarter inch. I'm gonna cut a little bit more than that because that little baby bear is so cute. Um, I'll cut to four and a half inch and then I'll just trim it to trim it to size. Sometimes you do that, right? Sometimes you cut the measurement, sometimes you cut a little bit more so that you can get the full scene that you want. There, got it. All right, so I've got mama bear and baby bear and I got an extra bear butt over here, so I don't really want that. I'm gonna cut that off. Um, let's see what else I wanna trim off. So I need, my end goal is to get down to three and a quarter which means I am going to lose the tree. All right. So we'll get the tree all the way out of there. All right. So, but I got both bears in it. That was my main, main goal. So the bears are going to go right on here. And let's find some adhesive here. We might have to do this again might have to do this again like a valentine one in another video if you're familiar with the lip balm that is the burt's bees brand um we have a new uh bee collection that's coming in the, in the mini catalog and that would be adorable with this so we might have to do this again and uh, maybe i can find a way to explain it a little bit better <laughs> All right, so I am going to actually use tear and tape to put this together because, all right, you know what? Let's, I'm going to stop right there, actually. Before I put this together, let's, let's make another cover with the truck. How's that sound, friends? I've got another cover right here. All right, so we're going to put some designer paper on this. Let's see what our truck, here's our truck right here. So we're going to, um, we need to pick between two designer papers. So one option, I want to do green. I don't know why, I want to do green. One option is the berry Christmas paper, and we could do this um, old olive. So the old olive uh, green can go with our truck, or we could use the joyful designer series paper and use this shaded spruce kind of plaid and do that with the truck. Now I know the tree here is the same color as this, but we would we would make the tree old olive instead of shaded spruce if we go with that paper. So I would love to have you let me know which one you would prefer. Now this paper is the one I used to make this Z-fold card on one of our videos. And then there's two other patterns in this paper too, including this musical note one. So we made this Z-fold card as well. So I need to get down to platter stripe, basically. <laughs> so um, you use Burt's Bees? Yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. And this would be super cute with the, the bee punch. I'm seeing more votes for the plaid. So we're going to go with the shaded spruce. It has that little bit of Christmas gold in it, which make it makes it extra sparkly this one would also work and make it look a little more norwegian i want to say maybe all right so we're going to decorate this one with this paper and that would require my paper trimmer oh i look guess what i put the paper on it found it <laughs> take a sip everyone all right our designer paper is again three and a quarter by two and a quarter. This time I don't have to try to find a scene. I'm just literally cutting the paper. So two, what did I say? Two and a quarter by three and a quarter. All right. And that's gonna go on the cover. And now we need a cute little truck. All right, so that would require some Basic white. Looking for a piece that's about the right size. Oh, here we go. Actually, this one. We'll go with this one. All right, let's get our truck out. And we're going to use two parts of the, well, several parts of the truck. First, we're going to do the outline of the truck. We're 
also going to do the inside of the truck. Does anyone remember which way is easier for me? Because <laughs> I don't. Okay, we'll figure it out. And then we're going to do the tires of the truck. And I always forget to do the farm fresh, but I do really like the farm fresh. Here it is on the door of the truck. If you get my emails, you know that my family has a Christmas tree farm in Southern Iowa. And so I, the last email I sent a bunch of pictures from um, the last time at the farm with the local kindergarten class, which is really fun. I'm going to try doing the red truck body first. If I totally mess it up, we can always stamp it again, right? When I'm stamping um, on this, I like to use a cushion. We have another product coming soon. Um, it's available as part of celebration called the glass mat. If you have the glass mat, you don't need the cushion. And I do have it. I tried to get it set up to use tonight and I just could not get the lighting um, to cooperate. So um, I, it was just too reflective with that ring light. So, bit um so i will have to continue to work with that challenge and i will i will figure it out <laughs> all right so i've got my truck i'm gonna before you stamp your truck it's always a good idea to double check your punch and make sure you're stamping it the right direction to be able to punch it out so that looks good i'm gonna go a little bit lower there all right so i've got my cute truck um stamped looks like i've got a little Probably a dog hair or something on my stamp. It's okay. Trucks have dings and bangs, and right? Um, and then we've got our Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And we're going to stamp the outline of the truck. I'm going to pull it closer to me. I have really poor eyesight. <laughs> and so for me to line this up, I need to see really well. So I'm going to pull it towards me so I'm not looking at it through the camera, but I'm going to try to do it in a way that you can still, that we can both see. <laughs> so I did the red first so that I could hover over um, the outline of the truck and try and line it up. I th think I got it. Yay! That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. <laughs> It may be a teensy bit up there, but who's going to know, right? Nobody's going to know. All right, and then we're going to take our, our tires. And we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to hover over my hubcaps and line up the circles of my hubcaps. <laughs> and stamp. Okay, that one I got a little high. What I do when I, when that happens is I take a marker and I eat Stamper's Secret here. Stamper's Secret. If you don't quite get it lined up, just take a marker and just fill it in, right? Who is going to know? Nobody. That's who. You're the only one that's going to know. All right. You can even fix the center of the hubcap there a little bit all better <laughs> so there we have our truck focus focus and then i always forget to do that little farm fresh on the door so let's do that real quick here did i get that inked up enough i think so this is optional you don't have to do this all right there's the farm fresh and then we're going to take our truck punch i'm going to punch it out So I'm just going to unlock it. You want to keep the, um, you want to be looking at the back of the punch so that you can just perfectly line it up before you punch and pop it out. Okay. Now I'm getting some bonus pieces. You can actually do this truck just out of cardstock. And that's where the bonus pieces come from. This is the tire. Um, this is the window. Uh, whoops, what's falling here? Um, okay. So we've got our truck punched out. Pop that over there and let's see what we think here. All right, so here is our shaded spruce and there is our little truck. Now we can do it just like that, which is really, really cute. <laughs> or we can also um, 
put this on a piece of white and we can stamp the tree in the back of the truck. Let's try that. We don't have to commit. You don't need to vote yet. We're going to try it and see what we think, okay? I'm going to see if this, now some of you might say, oh, that's going to cover up too much of our pretty green paper. You might be right. We might decide we just want to go simple and just keep the truck on. But that tree is pretty cute. <laughs> so let's go ahead and trim this down. So what is the width of this? This is two and three quarters. Um, hang on, I got to do math. Oh, oh, it's terrible. <laughs> two and three quarters. So that's a half inch smaller. So let's try this at one and three quarters. All right, I'll give you the dimensions when I find out if it's right. <laughs> All right, so that was one and three quarters by uh, two and three quarters, right? Yep, one and three quarters by two and three quarters. That would fit. Let's grab our truck. Here. Oh, drop the truck. Hang on. This is on the floor. <laughs> so, and I could probably go even smaller a little bit. Let's try a little bit smaller. I'm going to shave it down to two and a half by one and a half. So a little more of my green will show. Have I tried stamping on the tree on DSP? Um, I have not. It. I don't think it would work very well with this particular one because it's um, got the gold on it. All right. So let's see what we think. All right, so let me know in the comments, do we want the tree in the truck with the white or do we want no tree? Tree or no tree? Let me know in the comments. While you are voting, I'm going to get my tree at the ready just in case we're going tree. <laughs> the tree is in two parts. We've got outside and inside. Tree, 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 tree. Yes, you, you are right. You could fussy cut the tree. I am not a big fussy cutting fan. Can you tell by my appalled? <laughs> but yes, you absolutely could, could fussy cut the tree. All right, let's stamp this. Let's stamp this. Whoops, you gotta do it on the right side too. Okay. <laughs> Put my tree on upside down. Oh my goodness, Jennifer, things are out of control. Ah, all right. So the tree is like that. I just got to eyeball it, see where I want to put it. All right, I think I want to put it right there. Let's get my black here. Oh, this is nerve wracking. You know what? It's two-sided paper. If I mess it up, I can flip it over, right? Totally, totally could do that. All right, let's go ahead and just, just try it right there. Okay, let's check it, guys. Mm, it's a little far. I think I should be a little closer to the edge. All right, I'm going to, wait, wait, wait. Let me just see. Actually, boy, it's really close. I'm going to flip it over and try again. I'll pick whichever one I like the best. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go a little closer to the end of the paper this time. Let's try right there. Oh, now I got it a little low. All right. I don't know. No, no, no. Hang on. We have more paper. <laughs> I'm cheating. I'm using more than one piece of paper. Is that cheating? I don't think that's cheating. That's totally allowable, right? One and a half by two and a half. I am so picky, you guys. Seriously, it would have been fine, right? All right. Now, let me just see what I wanted. I want it right there. So I got it too low this time. I want it to go up almost to the top. Let's try that. Let's try that. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay. I like where I got as far as lengthwise, but I want it up a little higher because my piece is so small. I don't have a lot of room for wiggle room, right? Oh, yay! <laughs> we got it. Now, let's see if we can get the shaded spruce on. So I'm going to close up my real red before I have a stamping disaster here. All right, I'm going to grab a shaded spruce because that is the color of green that's in our paper. 
And we're gonna practice on our boo-boo tree here. So we've got two options. We can actually go full strength ink over the top like that, or we can stamp it off and have it be a little lighter. Which one do you like better? Lighter or full strength? Of course, I didn't quite get that one lined up, but you get the idea. So lighter or full strength? Let me know in the comments which one we're doing is lighter or full strength. All right, ink this up. And lighter, lighter. Okay, we're gonna go lighter. I see two lighters, which means I just need a handy dandy piece of paper. Any paper will do. Stamp that off. And we're gonna go ahead and ink this up. I'm just lining up that dark outline with my green. All right, there we go. Let's put our project together. All right, so let's find the cover of our lip balm here. And we're going to go ahead and adhere this on. All right. Right there, and then we're just gonna pop our tree up on some dimensionals. So cute. And then we're probably gonna add ribbon. Prepare yourselves probably to both projects. Because <laughs> we still gotta finish our bears too. All right. So let's put the truck up on dimensionals here. Here we go. There we go, and let's put our tree in the truck. Boom. All right, super cute. I love to have a little bit of ribbon. Not everybody does. I do. All right, where's my red that's open? Anyone see a roll of ribbon laying on my desk? I don't either. <laughs> All right, we'll just cut into a new rib new roll, right? You know, I have a roll here somewhere. Sure I do, but that's right. Just going to get the cellophane off here. Go. And we're just going to. All right, so I am literally just going to tie a knot. So I've got the, it's kind of the breast cancer ribbon or cancer ribbon um, here like that. I'm just gonna tuck the tail through the loop and pull it tight and the tighter the better in my opinion and then i'll flip it over and that's the pretty knot side this side is kind of uh, lumpy and not flat so that's the side i'll put down on my paper and then we can put that right here so that's you know i don't know i might want a bow on this one let's try it both ways let's trim my tails here on this trim it a little bit smaller so we could do that right there in the corner or because this ribbon is a little bit thinner we could do an actual bow you do not have any shaded spruce ribbon you could also do gold you can make your own shaded spruce ribbon by coloring with the Stampin' Blends. Let's try it with, with the bow. Oh, that's cute. I like the bow. Make my loops just a teeny bit smaller. I just slide and then tighten and slide and tighten until I'm happy with it. <laughs> I realize that's not maybe a technical enough but and then I just trim my tails nice and short all right and that's gonna go right there all right 
So let's put a glue dot on there and finish this one off. There we go. Pop that in. And then I'm going to attach this to the front of my cover here. I'm actually going to use tear and tape because I don't want the cover falling off. All right. So let's put some tear and tape right here. And a little bit right here. And here. And those, these guys pop in, that pops out, and let's get some tear and tape on this side. And why don't we just do that? I haven't decided if I need it here or not on the spine. I'm going to try it without. <laughs> All right, let's grab our take your pick tool. I don't know where my regular one is, but this will work. This one has a die brush at one end. Totally fine. All right. So let me think about this. So this is actually the back. So just line it up with the back edge there. And I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. Oh, I think I had a couple more in there that I forgot, but that's okay. It's all good. All right, and I'm just going to line these up with the edge. All right. Pop that out. And there we have, where did our lip balm go? It rolled away. <laughs> Here it is. Found it. Found it. Take a sip, everybody. All right. So slide that right in there. There's our one of our chapstick holders, right? Super cute. And then I need to actually I'm gonna just close this up and crease this better. I never really creased it with the bone folder today. It will sit flatter if I do that. So just crease that good. And I'm just going to crease that good. All right. That's a little better. All right. So got that one. Where did our, where did our bear go? Oh, man. Ah, found it. Here we go. Here's our bear. So do we want a ribbon on the bear? Hmm. I don't know that we need it, but we could put some sparklies on the bear. Oh yeah. I am all about the sparklies. You guys know that. I am going to grab the iridescent rhinestones here and make our snowflakes sparkle even more than they are right now. Or you could put them on the presents. Um, I love iridescent rhinestones. They just make everything look good. <laughs> They make everything a little more sparkly. So just a little bit of bling there. I'm going to move this guy down a little bit. Super cute. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and crease this before I add the inside. That might have been better on the other one, too. Okay. Got that creased. And then... I'm going to grab my, um, let's see, how do I want to do it? I want to do it this way. <laughs> this is my uh, one that I have all my measurements written on. So I'm going to use this one. And this is what I was talking about. If you don't score it, sometimes it'll go kind of wonky on you. So it is a good idea to score that, that 
those lines. You can see this one's a little bit, a little bit wonky. <laughs> All right, so this one I'm just going to put some adhesive on. That's just a temporary adhesive. So I can pull this off and I can put some dimensions in the description of this video for you. up there we go good enough <laughs> and then we're gonna slip our lip balm in there we're gonna lip balm go right here so just slide your chapstick right in there oh this guy wanted to go down you can't go down you're gonna hold it in and there we've got another option so there are our two chapstick holders which one do you like better Lost my chapstick, hang on. This one has gone <laughs> completely wonky on me. I folded this, scored this. This was my practice one when I was just figuring it out. So it's been folded every which way, both right and wrong. So <laughs> it's a little loosey goosey, but you get the idea, right? <laughs> so uh, some people like the truck best, some like the bears best. Kind of depends on who you're giving it to sometimes, right? Like, do they like bears? Do they like trucks? Whatever works best. So, all right. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me this Saturday evening. I'm going to flip the camera here. My husband and son and I apparently are going to go see Godzilla right now. There is a new Godzilla movie out. I don't like that kind of movie, um, but it's a family outing and the popcorn will be good. So... Uh, we're going to head off and watch a large monster trample people. Yay! <laughs> Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. And again, thank you for making and sending handmade cards. You're making the world a kinder place, one person at a time. Appreciate all that you do. Take care and have a great evening. And again, if you want to sign up for the free project sheets, you can do that right here. SueStampfield.com. Click on subscribe. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.